This is the sound of Black Sabbath returning to their roots. It's the band's first album for more than three decades to feature vocalist Ozzy Osbourne, along with fellow original band members guitarist Tony Iommi and bass player Geezer Butler. They credit producer Rick Rubin for helping them overcome their initial apprehension. He sort of suggested we go back to the old spirit of the, the way we used to do things, like live in the studio, with a sort of a jam feel, live, live in the studio kind of feel. And that gave us the... Uh, the sort of direction to go. We carry on with 30, 40 years or so last year I sat down and listened to the first album. Hmm. I mean, you know, because you move on, you think that's, and you challenge yourself. So it's, it's, it's like, as I said earlier on, it's like asking the Beatles to go back to Please Please Me, you know, and they go, go, what? The band had to overcome several obstacles to complete the new album. Original drummer Bill Ward was replaced by Rage Against the Machines' Brad Wilk on the new album after a contractual dispute, and Tony Iommi was diagnosed with cancer. He never complained once. He never, I mean, he, 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 was, he just kept it to himself, and I thought, I, you know, I think, it, it, me, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd be thinking at the end if it was me. My wife beat cancer. I didn't know anybody that beat cancer. He was an inspiration to us while we were doing the album. Yeah, it was, was. Um, nothing, you know, nothing would stand in his way. He just got on with it and got through it. And we thought, well, if he can do that, then I can do that. You know, and we, so we persevered with it. Ozzy Osbourne recently apologised to his bandmates and wife Sharon after admitting he'd relapsed into a cycle of drink and drugs. But he says he's been sober now for four months and ready to take the album on the road. But touring now is very different from the band's wildest days. I don't really go to clubs or bars or... I just stay in my room most of the time. Do the gig, then go to bed. <laughs> Black Sabbath were a band that was created by some London mogul. We were four guys, they had a dream and it came bit, through bigger than our wildest expectation. It's been the best thing that's ever happened to me, Black Sabbath. The man had not long since set foot on the moon when Black Sabbath had their first number one album in the UK. It took a record-breaking interval of 42 years and 8 months to repeat the fact. And now they've landed their first number one in the US. At times, it felt like the beginning of the end for the band, but may in fact be merely the end of the beginning. Neil Curry, CNN.